Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Victoria Marie and I'm going to show y'all what I have in my emergency school kit. That's basically just this little personal bag that I have where I have little backup supplies, anything I may need to avoid embarrassing moments because we do not have time for that this school year. I also want to shout out the YouTuber that gave me the idea to do this video. Her name is Victory Marie which is very weird that it was similar YouTube handles, but she did a very amazing video on your back to school emergency kit. Definitely shout out to her, go check out her video. So I went to Target and I got a bunch of items from there. I got this cute makeup bag. This is going to be my emergency kit. It's a decent size, everything fits in here really nicely. And it's also just very cute and discreet. It doesn't have to make a big scene when you pull it out, especially if there's an emergency. First, I'm gonna show y'all the hygiene products. I feel like these are the most important ones because these are the ones that are gonna make sure that you're smelling good, that you look good. I'm gonna start with the most important, which is, especially for us females, pads and tampons. This could be the most embarrassing moment if you don't have enough pads or tampons. So it's always important to have a couple of each so that you know throughout the day you could also change it. Or if your friend asks you for one, you always have a little bit of a backup. And I've been there before, you know, you're asking around for a tampon or a pad and no one has one. For me personally, I have birth control. I have the next plan on in my arm. So I rarely ever get my period. I never know when my period may happen because I do still get them maybe a couple times a year. So it happens randomly. Randomly. So I make sure I have these because I never know when it's going to pop up and surprise me. Also, I believe it's important to always have some flushable wipes on you just in case. Especially, you know, if you're going to the bathroom, you just want to freshen up a little bit. You can use them for under your arms, anything, wipe off your face if you're just feeling a little bit too hot. I got this lavender organic hand sanitizer. Especially going back into school, it's important that you have hand sanitizer. You know that first week sickness that you get to avoid all of that. Just a little hand sanitizer. Oh, it smells really good. Yes, it doesn't have that very alcohol sort of scent. So to avoid all the sickness that's going around, you know, them people don't like to wash their hands, get you a nice little hand sanitizer. The next one I have is just some Listerine, just in case you need to freshen up in the bathroom after eating, or if you end up getting sick and throwing up, or even at, during class, you just need to freshen up a little bit. I always just recommend just having some Listerine on you. It's better than a toothbrush and toothpaste because that could just be a lot in the bathroom and more convenient in my opinion. The next personal hygiene product that I have is obviously gonna be some spray deodorant. A little bit of spray just in case you need to freshen yourself up before you get into class. I know walking around campus, you get a little musky. That's okay, girl. Use a little bit of flushable wipes to wipe up under there and then spray this on. I also recommend getting a spray one just in case your friends are like, hey, can I borrow that real quick? You don't have to share like a skin to skin roll on deodorant. That's kind of nasty with all the sweatiness. So having a spray that you guys can just, you know, spray under there real quick, that would be very clutch. Number one for me, especially going into the cooler months, is going to be having some lotion. I found this Jergens lavender lotion. It's a decent size, especially for lotion. I do not understand the little baby hand lotions. Not for me at least, girl. I need me some lotion just in case. You never know. People are asking you for it. You just always want to have a decent size product so that you can actually have a backup. And staying on topic with moisturization, I like to have the cocoa butter Vaseline just in case. You never know when your lips might get a little bit ashy and you just need to touch it up a little bit. If I'm not wearing a full face, then I don't carry a lot of makeup with me. But if you like to have lip gloss, maybe even having this and lip gloss, so you can moisturize and then put it on. But for me, most of the time, it's just some Vaseline to moisturize my lips and get my situation correct. And if I am wearing a full face of makeup and it's just too hot or I'm uncomfortable or something just doesn't look right, I like to make sure I have makeup wipes so that I can just cleanly wipe it off and start off fresh again. So it's important to just have some makeup remover wipes in your bag for those situations where you just want to have a fresh start and get clean again. And last for the beauty section will be my leave-in conditioner. As y'all could see, I wear my hair natural most of the time. And so it could get dry or the humidity could really make it frizzy, especially during the hot summer months. So I like to just make sure I have a little bit of extra leave-in conditioner with me. So I could just mix it with water and get my situation together, you know, fix up some of the curls. And this is the one that I actually use day to day. So I'm really happy that they had a $3 mini bottle. Especially those days when you're rushing out of bed. If you have some time, you can sneak into the bathroom and get your hair together. It's always good to have a little bit of hair products on you. And the next couple products I got are specifically because I'm very clumsy and I'm always making a mess. So I got some shout wipes which are basically just stain remover wipes just in case I spill anything. 
which I, I always spill my coffee on my outfit. So it's just important for me to have some wipes to just clean it up and move on with my day because I'm I know I'm gonna spill something at least once a day. This might not be for everybody if you don't need it, but for me specifically as well. Me specifically as well. I have a husky, so I got two lint rollers, little mini ones. They're about 99 cents just to clean up, especially if I'm wearing black. His hair is white and it gets everywhere. So I just like to make sure that I'm cleaned up before I walk into anywhere because I don't want to look like I have a dog even though I have a dog you know and just the last couple products that I got so this one is the Tums I just got some Tums pills just in case you can just pop a Tums real quick and get your stomach settled so that you don't make a big scene and throw up everywhere so I like to have this on deck just in case and then this thing is very specific, but they go hand in hand, honestly. If anything happens in your car where you just need to spray it down, have some disinfecting Lysol spray in there, make sure that everything's good. I also like to frequently spray down my steering wheel just to make sure that it's still fresh and disinfected. You're constantly touching it and going in and out of places. So just to make sure that you're frequently disinfecting. I really hope this helped you out and gave you some ideas of what you should put in your emergency kit. And congratulations or good luck going back to school if you are heading back on campus. I want y'all to stay safe out there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.